Today I'm going to talk to you about the Metronix Celtron Advantage. This is the latest test that we've put out and we're going to go over some of the functionality of the tester. When we start out, you can see we have a display here. This is not a touch screen. You're actually going to have to use your navigation buttons to manage your way through the icons. You have some keys up here, function keys that go and work with some of the soft keys that will come up on here. And then you have your main keypad down here where you're going to have uh, entering data into the tester, entering names. You have a toggle button here that goes between alpha and numeric functions of the keys. You have some special character keys also on here. And then you have your um, quick hot keys to get to certain functions in the tester. And then of course down here we have our power button that's going to turn our tester on. Just give the tester a minute to boot up. When you do get to the main screen, you have a quick uh, icon here that's going to show you your internal battery's uh, health. So how much is it charged? If that block is full and black, then you have a full battery. As it gets halfway, you have half the battery life left. So that's a good indication of how the charge is in your battery. And once we get started, we're going to start out doing a battery test, and we're going to do a setup for that battery test. When I drill into that menu, I could go to a new test or an existing test, and we're going to set up the steps to go through a new test setup. First, you're going to enter the site name. That site name could be whatever your company's policy is for their naming convention. If you use silly codes, you could put the silly code in there. If you use names of the site, you could put the name of the site. And I'm going to just put in site A, A, A for today's purpose. And then I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to put in a plant name. That plant name can be as easy as plant one or plant A. It's showing me that I'm using the letters. When I hit that key, it toggles me now to numbers. So I hit that and now I can put in a one. And then I'm going to save that. And now we want a string name. And we're going to call this string uh, B. So I'm going to go here. And I made a mistake. I didn't do it quick enough. I had two A's. So I could just backspace to clear that. And now I'm going to go for B. So now that's string B. I save it. Next comes up with tech ID. It's not required to change that. You can leave it as is. The default is tech one. You can put your name in there. You can put your initials in there. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to backspace to clear the one. I'm going to hit the space key, and then I'm going to put my initials in. So I'm going to put in E, A, so it's tech E, A, save, and now we start our setup for the battery test. First we want to know the number of jars or cells or batteries that we're going to be testing. Uh, the default is 24 happens to be that the string of batteries we're going to be testing today is 24 cells so I could leave that but if I had to change it you just drill into the menu you could scroll up and down to change things or you can enter the value in with the keypad so here I'm going to have 24 select then you need to put in the nominal voltage of the cells that you're testing Drill into that menu, scroll to the right voltage. These are two volt cells. I'm gonna pick that. Next is our threshold setup. I drill into there. That's gonna be the thresholds for voltage, temperature, and conductance. 
So this is where you'll get your alarm points best based on those thresholds. You can leave the defaults that come in the test if you like, or you can drill into each one and change them if you want to. We're just gonna leave them set at the thresholds that come in the de tester, the defaults. Next is gonna be test per jar. So test per jar is telling me, say in a situation like this, where I have three sets of posts, some companies, their policy is to test on each set of posts. Other people just test, make one test across this cell and maybe only do one test per jar. So you have that option if you drill into this menu to do one, two, or three tests uh, per jar, per cell. We're gonna keep it here to just do one test. Next is the sh what we call the strap test, which refers to our inner cell connectors. So if I wanted to do one test across this cell for the battery test, but wanted to test each inner cell connection here, I could set this up to do three strap tests, and it'll give you a picture of just that setup that matches our configuration here in our battery stack. So if you were doing this, if you had to do those strap tests, you can set it up. If your policy is no straps test, you just leave it at none. Next, we wanna to go to our reference value that we're gonna set for our test. I happen to have the value, so when I go down here, I could just go to input the reference, and I could use my keypad to put in 5123 and hit select and now that's keyed in for my test next is the test type so test type gives me three options if I happen to be doing volts only because maybe I have to check my voltages on a monthly basis I can do that volts and conductance is the default where it takes the voltage readings and then does the conductance reading right after it. Or you have volts then conductance mode, which will let you take all the voltage readings first of all the cells, then go back and do the conductance readings and it puts the two readings together. So we're gonna pick um, volts and conductance, which again is the default. And lastly, you can do save and you have the option of either the save and test if you're ready to test right away, if you wanna do some other setups for other strings you know you're gonna be testing, you can go down to save and exit. It's gonna save that setup with that site name in the tester's memory, and then you can go on to set up your next string.